More than 50 collections of poetry from both major publishers and from small publishers were submitted for this year's Mark Piggott Poetry Prize, the second time it's been awarded. And myself and my distinguished co-judge, Gillian Clark, had great difficulty in even coming up with a short list for this prize. In the event, we opted for five books, one by Peter Sir, one by Quilleen Hughes, one by Gerard Reedy, one by Kieran Carson. But eventually, even though all of them would have been worthy winners of the prize, we were faced with Paul Muldoon's new collection of poetry, 1,000 Things Worth Knowing. Muldoon is a dazzling poet, sometimes a difficult poet, but very playful and very serious too, as in the wonderful elegy that opens this volume on his friend Seamus Heaney. So in the end, we really had no option but to opt for Paul Muldoon, who we think is a worthy winner as one of the greatest English language poets currently writing in English. So it's a great privilege on behalf of the Piggott family and as a representative of the Stowell Writers Week to award the Piggott Prize for Poetry to Mr Paul Muldoon. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, well, as I'm sure many of you in the room who are writers will understand only too well that uh, when one sits down to write a poem or a short story or a novel, um, one um, has no expectations. Uh, it's as much as one can hope for to get through to the end of any of those. One certainly doesn't expect a prize for anything. And uh, so it's a particular delight to have both a prize and a kiss uh, on this occasion. And uh, I'm only sorry that uh, I'm not there uh, tonight uh, in person, as it were. I, I simply cannot be there tonight. And I, so I want to say a particular word of thanks to Mr. Piggott for his thoughtfulness in honouring poetry in this way. There's so many things one could do with one's money, including spend it all on oneself. And it's really great that you've seen fit to uh, spread it around like this and to, and to honour poetry in this country and in this town. The Stowell uh, has long been a, a, an artistic hub in Ireland. For as long as I can remember, um, I was familiar as a kid with the work of Brian McMahon and John B. Keane, and I've always uh, had a particular spot in my heart for Listowel. I love it there, and I look forward to being with you there next year. <laughs>